How do you feel? I'm drenched in sweat. I am so glad that we did I that. Like, I feel like I'm sweating out the weekend right now. <laughs> I feel like I just sweated out the weekend and like it's a fresh start now. Yeah, seriously. Like, tomorrow is a new day. Do the same clip Karen just did in her. So happy. But so we're happy. just so happy to, to be hugging. Fam is here. Even though we were in the same city, I really missed you. I know, like Karen <laughs> and I didn't live under the same roof for like four days straight. And every time we like leave each other, we're sad. Even though we were, we didn't hang out really this weekend that much because you were working pool. a lot. Yeah, was, oh, at the pool yesterday. Was like a slave to the expo. We're tired. We are tired. And LA we have so we have team here getting ready to work. The crew. They're gonna edit and upload the video here, so it's all done. And we don't Yay. have to worry about it. Good. And Randy's in the shower, and Randy's spending the week with us. Um, we have a fun, relaxing work week planned. So I'm here editing the video that I'm hopefully putting up in like two hours, and then they're gonna edit tomorrow's video. And then yeah, yes. Where are we from? Mm. From Betty Crocker. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> so good. These guys are enjoying. And Randy and I, and Karen eventually, are going to enjoy pints of that. Mm. So America. excited. <laughs> and America. Oh. God bless America. Randy's Canadian, so this is a huge treat for her. They don't have this shit in Canada. I know, I was walking through the grocery store, I'm like, I love American grocery stores. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a candy to. store every single time. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're it's excited. Good. I haven't had Halo Top in a really long time, actually, so I'm excited to enjoy a... I'm trying to open this. Can you help me? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. And, wait, I can't forget this. None of the macros can be left behind. Sorry, this is important. Okay. Those sprinkles, though. But we're also adding, where are they? Oh, right there. Oh. I don't know why I'm holding the camera like this. We're adding, dude. Just wait for it. Carrot cake. Carrot sprinkles. cake sprinkles. <laughs> like what? My hair looks so funny right now. Or what? Anyway. Mm -hmm. So why don't you put like them on yours? I usually actually do you wanna put the halo top in a bowl? Or do you wanna just eat it out? Um I think I'm good out of there, yeah. yeah do you have fun. ready wit? Or something? Like that? <laughs> that good. I what? Jesus. Yeah, that looks incredible. Seriously. I had my friends. I hope it's good. It's going to be amazing. Tell me how it is. <laughs> is it good? Go so good. good. We're all eating good tonight, <laughs> fam. Go I'm not eating pop. anything right now. <laughs> Jared, make yourself something. Oh my god, I'll eat out some What did he say? He said go buy a ring pop or something. <laughs> Go buy a ring Gotta pop or something. Watermelon or grape. Put a ring on that. Austin's one liners. <laughs> Alright, Renz. Let's let's enjoy this on the couch. So Halo Top, I'm vlogging. By the way. <laughs> Halo Top is coming out with new flavors and I get to I get to sample try them. What you guys are seeing right now is my physique update after a full, what can I call it, four or five days straight of just completely indulging in everything humanly possible. I did not do cardio, I didn't train, trained once. Um, I ate any, everything and anything that I wanted, whether it be donut place, whether it be burgers, whether it be ice cream and cookies and the Oreos that someone gave us at the expo or the M&Ms in the hotel room, anything. I just ate whatever I wanted. I drank whatever I wanted. I had, and I haven't done anything like that in like years. It's been about three years um, looking back since I've actually completely indulged like that and not cared and just let myself enjoy things. Our memories were gonna be way more important to us for this weekend than trying to stay lean. But in the past, I had not ever done that. Um, in terms of reverse dieting out of a show, I typically even recommend to people not to do that at all because yes, you will gain 
a little bit more fat than you're used to. But I decided already that I was just going to decide and be okay with it and accept the responsibility, accept the consequences for my actions, which is a little bit of fat gains. So what I recommend for people to do post-show, I have gone through a few reverse diets where I was very strict for a very, very long time just tracking my macros and making sure I was increasing them by like between 50 to 100 to 150 calories per increase. It would increase every one or two or three weeks depending on how quickly you wanted to reverse diet. There's actually a really good uh, video on that. Jeff Nippard is, has a really good podcast and YouTube video. Um, I'm gonna link it in the description box. But there's a lot of different ways that people reverse diet. And I chose personally for this uh, off season that I did not want to feel the way I was feeling anymore. I wanted to feel back to normalcy. So I feel really back to homeostasis right now. I feel really, really good and comfortable. Not necessarily comfortable with how I look like because obviously like we all prefer ourselves to look a little bit leaner, but I'm choosing to be okay with it and not focus as much on what I look like as opposed to what my gym performance is gonna be. I feel completely refreshed and rejuvenated and I'm super excited to just get back on track and get back into routine after having a full week of completely indulging. Remember when we were science protein waffles. I haven't had them in forever and I'm super excited to make them. This batter is giving me life. Also enjoying the last bit of my Lion's Choice Vanilla Wafer. Previously I did not track any of this whole entire thing. I was just kind of eating it but I think that there's like one portion in here right now. Vanilla wafer flavor. This is edible cookie dough from the Lion's Choice. 136 calories, uh, 8 fat, 9 carb, and 7 protein. And if you guys are curious about what this recipe is and haven't heard me say it a thousand times, it is always in the link in my description box, so go check that out. Maybe saving her last bite. Look at that thing. Dude. It's just like sitting there. It's like the perfect amount of oats and then the nut butter on it. Get on the fork. <laughs> it's a waffle, if you guys don't know. A waffle with oat fit, oatmeal, and then D's Naturals vanilla mm. nut butter. And that's the last bite. That satisfaction face. That's the best. So just trust me when I say he has literally been working all day on it. So just trust me when I say he has literally been working. But he's been like sending me Snapchat updates and it looks awesome. He's been like sending me Snapchat updates and. So I just wanted to explain reasons why I have been like not posting as often. I hired Austin, the guy who's been doing the cool video edits for my channel a couple times a week. Um, I met him and his good friend Kyler, who's also a Pardomas athlete. You guys saw them at the beginning of this video. They came to my place after Vegas and uh, just hung out and worked and edited all day. Getting all the footage onto the computer and the export process takes a much longer time where they are. There, there's a lot of pressure on uh, YouTubers, comments comments from you guys and tweets from you guys saying, please, please put up videos. And then the, the people that I met at the expo this weekend saying, I love watching you every single morning and I get sad when you don't post a video. That totally makes me feel awesome and like I love, love, don't get me wrong, I love all the support and I love that you guys love watching the videos and that's why I keep wanting to put them out. It's definitely slightly stressful in terms of uh, wanting to get the content out there for you guys and wanting to provide you guys with videos as much as I possibly can. Just keep that in mind for future videos. If there's ever a lag, it's essentially just because I'm like waiting for a little bit of like return on the footage or something's going wrong because you guys are absolutely my priority and I don't want to uh, 
make you think anything else. I'm not just like, ignoring you. Keep that in mind for the future, just letting you guys know and making you guys aware, keeping it fully uh, honest with you guys. This whole video is pretty honest. Lots of talking going on, but in the next video, you guys will see the workout that I did today, and I'm super excited to share with you guys another powerlifting video, uh, stemming off of that cool powerlifting series that I'm doing this uh, off season. So I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for being understanding. I love you guys.